So what is up guys? I am Mike and yeah, okay. So we are here for a very specific video. This is gonna be very very spoiler filled video, okay? A very very spoiler filled video. So to anyone who has not watched Avengers Endgame, uh please you leave the video right now, okay? Because uh <clears throat> initially I didn't even want to do this video, but uh so I did a poll. I put it on my Instagram and majority of them voted that they want to want me to do this move this movie review basically okay so yeah screw it I'm gonna do it but I felt like there is no other way for me to do this review without spoilers that there is no way there's so much to this movie that if I do it without spoilers it's just gonna be yeah it's just gonna be that it won't be any that there won't be a good way to put this together, okay? So I'm gonna put this in a very simple way for everyone. So, uh, right, I'm gonna jump right into the movie and uh, review you guys, let you guys know what my opinions are on it, okay? Okay, spoiler alert. So, first things first, uh, this movie is incredible. Incredible in a sense where it is, the Russos have done such a good job in wrapping up the the 10 or 11 years of these films and basically making a conclusion to the entire thing to the entire um, infinity saga as they've actually called it now there's tons of fan service but there's also tons of storytelling that um, wraps up a lot of the characters arcs okay um, I mean, we start the movie by basically bringing in uh, what has been Hawkeye doing all this while, and he's on like a farmhouse, uh, the one they were in during Age of Ultron, and he's training his his daughter, and his family is having a picnic, and they all just die like that. That, that. That's just the beginning before the title comes out, before the whole Marvel intro comes in, so that's crazy on its own. But I'm not going to dive into every single part of the movie, because that's going to be just boring for you guys to listen to this for such a long time, so I'm going to just point out the highlights and give you my opinions simple as that basically they did go time travel as we predicted okay as um basically me following a lot of the reddit pages a lot of the uh, marvel pages and whatever not people were coming up with theories and uh, how they would actually defeat thanos and everything but at first we thought they were going to a whole different direction because um i think it was about 20 minutes in and they actually arrive onto the place where the end of Infinity War is, where Thanos is just sitting in like this farm place. He, he he's completely bruised and everything. They grab him and they chop his arm off. First things first. Already insane. So we thought that was it, but then the stones apparently was destroyed by him. And Thor chops his head off. Just basically a uh, poetic thing to what he's what uh, Thanos told him. You should have gone for the head. He went for the head and. At that moment, everyone in the cinemas, because I watched this first day, first show uh, in Malaysia here, is, uh, it releases on the 24th. So everyone went insane when uh, when that happened. Um, and it straight away cut to black and it just says five years later. So there's a lot of things going on here. There's so much going on in this. And then slowly we find out how uh, Ant-Man comes out and the idea of time travel comes in and then they work on the idea, basically what they call it time heist, which is pretty interesting. But I will give you, I will give one thing that they actually have a couple of uh, things about time travel that they have not acknowledged properly. They, there are certain uh, plot holes in it, but I, uh, the way they have done it, um, I wouldn't say because in a time travel, when, when you touch time travel, there's a lot of things that can be involved here. For example, um, when they go after the, the Tesseract and then um, due to a, like some mistake or something, Loki gets away with the Tesseract and just disappears with it. So it creates a slight plot, plot hole there, although they can go before that and get it, but it also creates a plot hole like would, would, would that create a different... Um, a different ray of um, a, a different time period where Loki somehow does something because he has his tesseract with him. We never know what he could have done, but um, it, it maybe with the whole Disney Plus thingy, the TV shows uh, where they're actually gonna do a Loki series, uh, Wonder Vision, uh, and Bucky, Bucky Falcon. You know, maybe that's what they're trying to do with this because they have 
the Disney Plus shows. So they're trying to branch it out there. So that is the thing with this, okay? Uh, but other than that, I was satisfied. I was satisfied. The moments, um, some of the highlights, Captain saying Hail Hydra perfectly from the comics but fittingly into the scene and not changing his character whatsoever is just a much more experienced captain who goes into it with with a plan basically using that to make sure he can get the job done perfectly executed i i, I people were were going nuts in cinemas because they knew exactly what the hell is going on here okay now here's here's the interesting part they they made they showed how much more smarter Thanos is when there's a whole thing with Nebula and her system where the future Nebula and like the past Nebula have a connected uh, system to it where they can it can access and Thanos accesses this somehow and finds out their plan this was where everyone realized okay they have a plan but Thanos knows about this what's gonna happen here so when they when they finally s secure everything um, they have the gauntlet and everything. Hawk does the snap. It, it goes well, but um, because Ant-Man goes out and he realizes like, oh, there's butterflies and there's birds all over. Uh, I, I think it worked. But at the same time, while they're about to do the snap through the time travel thing, Nebula played. You guys need to watch this. I, I really cannot explain this in full. Uh, <laughs> so, so Nebula comes in and somehow Thanos arrive and that one moment when they thought everything was over, Thanos blasts the entire uh, Avengers facility and it just destroys everything. And we have a setup for the final battle. Now, highlights. <laughs> Captain lifts Mjolnir. Okay, he lifts up Thor's hammer. He sw <laughs> First he swings, we thought it's going back to Thor. And then we see Cap grab it. People went nuts. I, I I feel it's the perfect way to put that there. And even after that, um, Thanos breaks his shield. Like we see, not not the calm Thanos from MCU, but the more aggressive, the more uh, the the relentless Thanos we see in the comics. That's what we see here. The way he went out, the moment he realized that Captain is really that powerful, he started going at it and going at it, and he broke breaks the 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 shield. It breaks the shield. At that point, everyone is down. Thanos calls his entire army coming in. Cap, with this is one shot where Cap stands above everyone, like just standing alone. The first Avenger standing the last Avenger against the entire army. Oh, everyone was for sure, okay, this is how Cap is gonna die. Then, we get a, he hears something, Falcon says, on your left. And then, and then the portals. Doctor Strange opens up the portals and everyone comes in and then <laughs> my friends something that every every Captain America fan has been waiting since the Avengers movie was for him to say the two words Avengers assemble and he freaking does it in this and it's so perfect it fits so perfectly everyone lines up right behind Cap I, I'm, I'm having goosebumps just just, uh, just just talking about this. It's so good the way they do it. The sequence is a masterpiece. The, the way they were able to execute that many characters in one single scene and still pull it off in such the level that they have done is beyond amazing, to be honest with you. Beyond amazing. Other than that, uh, well, we wrap it up with basically Tony wielding the gauntlet which is a, a gauntlet that he built using his tech but wielding all the six stones in his hand and snapping Thanos, Thanos and his army to dust and that's how we end the movie and just we uh, basically Tony dies from from the snap because of the impact that it causes him uh, and then Cap retires now the thing about about the scene the last scene with the with Captain America going back to place everything back because um, technically it's their technique to tell that if you put back whatever you've taken from the past it doesn't interrupt with the with the with the branch of time that 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 is in line so to speak okay so what when did when he does that the thing about this is there's a whole lot of things you have the soul stone power stone how the hell did was he able to go and put all this back um, it's, it's kind of just not even shown. It's just he goes through the machine, 
and when Hulk try pull him back he doesn't return and we just see an old man sitting there whose cap basically cap has got old and then uh, he talks he passes the shield on the Falcon uh, basically a sign marking that we have a new captain uh, but now we just have to see whether or not they will elaborate on Falcon being the new Captain America or he just only use that when the time is right or something like that we don't know how that goes but we'll see how that goes of course the beautifully shot ending is uh, Steve getting his dance with Peggy in the end which is a very beautiful way to do it but there's a lot of questions in how he was able to return everything and not interrupt with the time you know that because again we go again to time travel time travel can be very tricky to pull off especially when it's this kind of thing but overall it's it's a perfect film for for every MCU fan who has been following all the way perfectly built perfectly um, uh, a very straightforward script basically just that with with a little bit intricacies with the with the time travels and whatever not but other than that it's, it's just straight line that's it you know so that, that that's great that's honestly great so that's just my my two cents on this to be honest <laughs> I'm gonna go and watch it again to be honest I only watched it once <laughs> right after that I got like a bit busy with a couple of things and I'm like okay I need to go and watch it again <laughs> But then I also need to release this review, <laughs> so I told myself, "Screw it, let's do it." You know, we we have enough details or whatever not. So it, it it's really great. It's really great. It's um, trust me, go pay the ticket and watch the movie in cinemas. It is worth. This is the kind of movie that is worth to be watched in the cinemas, and you will earn your money's worth. When you come out of that, you will either you will laugh, you will cry, you'll feel awesome, you will you'll be amazed you will you will be satisfied that's for sure you will be satisfied that's one thing for sure so yeah that's uh that, that's basically how we can wrap that i can wrap that up lah. um yeah so this has been your boy mike i rate this movie a strong 9.5 out of 10 honestly a 9.5 out of 10 i don't rate my movies this high but this movie blew me away from the visuals to the to the character arcs that they have done a perfect arc for tony perfect arc for cap you go and watch it there's so much to it hope you guys check it out uh but yeah as your boy mike i hope you guys enjoyed this review if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe okay um and yeah hit that bell bell button basically so you get notified whenever we upload okay so yeah um i guess i will see you guys next time and uh yeah i will see you soon